it seems as if we have a, a, a minor spat between the IMF MD Christine Lagarde and uh, Mr. Mr. Weidmann over Germany's budget and current account surpluses. Uh, do you think, do, do, do you feel some sympathy with her view or not? Well, I think uh, at this conference today there is a consensus that the German economy is growing very well. Um, but of course, the current account surplus will remain high, and the question is how to get it down. And I think one could also agree that a good uh, way to do that is higher wages in Germany. But the problem is how to achieve these higher wages. Um, I think uh, the trade unions and the employers are reluctant uh, to wage increases that do not only take into account uh, the good employment situation, but that also take into account the need of a more symmetric adjustment in the Eurozone. And so while wage increases would be uh, the ideal solution, it's very unlikely that we will see uh, much stronger wage increases than the wage increases that we have right now. If we don't see more sizable wage increases, what hope is there for the ECB to achieve its target of inflation just below 2%? Well, that would definitely help the ECB uh, to reach this target because right now we have the problem that in Germany wages, unit labor costs are growing by roughly 2%. But in the other uh, major Eurozone countries, wage increases, unit labor cost increases are well below because the unemployment situation there is still there. And so on average, unit labor costs in the Eurozone increase by about 1%. And that is more or less in line with the core inflation at the Eurozone of 1%. And so higher wage increases in Germany would ideally uh, help uh, the ECB to get closer to its inflation target. But I think there was a consensus uh, today that it's very difficult to, to get these uh, markedly higher wage increases in Germany.